Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we haven't done a long time video, uh, and the reason is because um, we have focusing farming. We are still here in Finland, uh, and we have make a mostly Finnish videos. And uh, now, now we return for this channel stronger than ever. <laughs> but a short uh, update if you haven't watch our videos before. We was in Philippines um, and uh, we start farming there. Uh, name was little different this channel, it's farming the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But um, then we put here this herb farm and uh, we like the name and we keep the name. Now, now we don't change, but we gonna go back to Philippines. Hopefully we start uh, farming very soon, but uh, we don't have yet a place there. So we are looking the place. We we are poor people so we don't have a lot of money to to buy uh, hectares hectares and and uh, it's cost even even the land uh, prices has coming down also in Philippines but uh, yeah yet we don't have money money so much. But hopefully we find the place and and uh, when we find, of course we start to farming and sharing. And what is the point? What is special? Okay, we have practice here in 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 our farm here in Finland, a no till or no dig. Mostly no till uh, is is the system and permaculture principles we have used and and uh, many others things what is not so common in Philippines and uh, we have to learn of course because the climate and the soil um, everything is very different than here in cold climate mm -hmm. so we have to also learning but but uh, we have we have uh, keeping the classes or courses the the permaculture and no-till farming, self-sufficiency and like that. And uh, what we are thinking, what what we have uh, to giving their farmers and uh, who is watching our videos, no matter if it's little backyard garden or whatever, but uh, we, we, we gonna make still everything in permaculture way. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and our principles has been always that we don't use any kind of chemicals in, in our farming. So um, we're gonna make no-till farming without commercial fertilizers or, or any kind of sprays, uh, chemical sprays. Uh, but uh, we, we're learning and we showing you what is the results uh, with uh, organic, uh, non-commercial uh, sprays? What we gonna make ourselves? We gonna use compost, vermicompost. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We we don't use anything from farm shop or we go, we gonna make if if possible we make all ourselves. And um, yes. And uh, of course, polyculture, but means that we we never uh, even uh, our goal is to make quite big farm, but we are mo not monocropping. We don't have only one plant, so one crop only. We make a we make a companion planting. We make a intercropping. All the technique we gonna use and uh, uh, quite deep, deep systems like we have been here. We have quite great success here in, in, in what we have done, mostly in greenhouse but also outside. And, uh, and uh, so many experiences, we are very excited to try, try those our, what we have learning last four years and, and, uh, and try that also in, uh, in, in different climate and well, Gardening and farming is always learning more. Uh, every day 
you, your attitude have to be that you you want to learn more uh, and uh, understand the nature how how the plants and and everything animals is uh, working together that and of course we gonna grow animals chicken chicken ducks uh, rabbits maybe big yeah, yeah. uh, is a goat <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the goats I am not big a big fan of those but it depends what kind of setup we have what kind of farm farm we can get and uh, and uh, little by little but our our thinking is that you can't make good permaculture uh, farm at at least a bigger one without that you have animals where you get manure and and fertilizer of course we're gonna use a lot of green manure and and we're gonna make our own fertilizer also we have uh, we have studied a lot of that uh, past couple of months and and we're gonna try everything and we share of course the results how it's going and um, <coughs> but um, we have also kind of some if you if you can say the mission missions uh, or or goals uh, mm. uh, we are we have kind of looking uh, what is in in farming and uh, and the people who is growing their food in Philippines and of course in, in here and wherever mm. in in around the world that uh, there is no much available uh, alum seeds, mm -hmm. uh, native seeds, uh, original seeds, because Marilyn has a good remember how her can grandfather and grandma was uh, farming. In that time, th there wasn't any any commercial uh, poison. <laughs> what you can put <laughs> yeah, yeah that yeah. is all the poison and, yeah. and that is the reason why people getting so sick <laughs> they have forget how to farming without input outside input mm. in in garden and uh, and uh, it's it's very big challenge to grow anything organic because uh, there is no natural way of uh, how how all the bugs, good and bad bugs, mm -hmm. and and others is 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 uh, working there. So uh, like like also here, mm -hmm. uh, we we was here uh, commercial farming three years, and that three years was that we start to seeing how it coming back uh, those uh, bees and butterflies and everything. Mm -hmm. the the good and bad bugs is coming and uh, when, when you get that nature balance in your garden uh, then it start to uh, um, you you don't need sp spray not even necessarily organic spraying mm -hmm. because I, I, if your soil is very good and you have uh, companion plants yeah so. yeah of course you have a protection mm -hmm. plants and and you you don't make a long row something what uh, you, you have a different places crops of course you have to put some if you if you have commercial it but we talked that in in our future <laughs> videos but uh, but if you can build your soil mm. uh, that that it's uh, full of life uh, microbiome and and some everything is you make a compost you add the compost like no till is always and and you add the natural fertilizers and, and manure and everything then you're building their kind of uh, microclimates and and soil what is healthy mm -hmm. and then you plant is healthy and then then it can resist or can handle any kind of uh, bad situation what is coming for the bad box and 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 uh, where wherever we are farming or practicing that we try to building that uh, we can return the 
good bugs also there and the nature balance that is the permaculture one one of the big things what permaculture is doing mm -hmm. and the organic farming um, and the purpose also for those uh, keeping a compost that keep the land healthy yeah yeah that is the that is the way the compost is big big thing to uh, kind of rege regeneration mm. for the soil and, and it's it's coming coming back and because otherwise it's more clay coming yeah <laughs> every time you're blowing or turning your land then more clay and more bad it is and it can handle the water the, we have seen so so much even we have here clay yeah very clay uh, field and it has coming I think <laughs> if inches it's a uh, two three inches it has a uh, coming new soil mm -hmm. and it's it's very good and the plant last summer the plant was very good and healthy mm -hmm. and everything start to working only three years but it of course it's a uh, uh, you can make a uh, fast money, you can uh, wait in first season mm -hmm. when, you, when you try to sell your crops that it's uh, always perfect and uh, it's not giving so good harvest necessarily. Mm -hmm. So you have to be patient, you have to be... You Wait, have, waiting for the animals. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nature, nature balance is the key key that kind of uh, farming and it's big challenge. I am sure that uh, many times we uh, we gonna get the disappointments and and everything but it uh, <laughs> don't look like that. <laughs> I, I know it's not easy and there is a lot of challenge and we haven't yeah. we haven't grow commercial scale in, in Philippines so there is a lot of new things for us also mm. but um, yeah. And, and we will see how it goes and uh, and uh, that is one thing one big thing uh, that we want to return uh, the alum we're gonna mm -hmm. keep the seeds mm -hmm. uh, what I haven't seen many organic farms there doing what we have seen uh, we save our own seeds uh, when we find native species and, and heirlooms uh, maybe it's very difficult but we we're gonna travel first and and look and mm -hmm. talk and and find the people who Observe. are still yeah people who is still doing the old way farming organic mm, of course it's always organic, <laughs> <laughs> organic <laughs> that time wasn't anything else but organic yeah because uh, mm. uh, why the important the seeds the seeds that you can save that you don't have to buy always seeds you can save mm. and you can mm. share someone else yeah and that is that that is big big mm. outcome if you buy every season or um, many many times per season you buy and seeds price is getting very high also mm. like everything is getting high fertilizers and everything but but if you don't use those if you have own inputs own fertilizer own seeds everything own soil <laughs> you don't have to buy anything then then you can save the money and uh, if if you are patient you will get good success uh, we we have a strong feeling what we have doing here and mm. and hopefully hopefully we can do in philippines mm. same way or even better hopefully and hopefully we see the people who has a passion same as us and uh, and we can visit those farms uh, if you recognize yourself <laughs> if you watch in this video if you are a permaculturist uh, organic farmer who has the same kind of passion and, and want to share your your story and your your plants and and your seeds and everything we are very happy to come to visit uh, our our area in in uh, next month in February 23 is uh, uh, about the Pohol, Cebu, Necros, Panay, and then the smaller island. At least that area we gonna travel and uh, try to find uh, 
mm. those farms and and uh, little even backyard gardeners permaculturist uh, whatever who mm. is thinking this way because this is the uh, our strong feeling about the self sufficiency and uh, mm. and the, what is the future of the whole mankind is depending those people who gonna keep the heirloom seeds and, and everything so that is also very important thing and and one of the, our mission is also the the help uh, our friends who is farmers mm. uh, and uh, and we gonna also search uh, those farmers who has getting problems because they have using those commercial sprays and poisons and everything we try to help them if we can and uh, at least we share the knowledge maybe they can see the videos they don't have money uh, to get load and watch the youtube but uh, we're gonna mm. visit those mm. we're gonna visit those people we love them <laughs> we love everyone. <laughs> so yeah, hope, hope we get back some love. <laughs> I can give example of my brother that he. Yeah, your, your brother he, is one of them. He was a very good farmer and then he has using those commercial in uh, one corpse only. Mm. He mm. is planting. Monocropy. Yeah, so the, then it's a typhoon is coming then all is flashing. Mm. No, no one, no, because uh, no companion. Mm, doing mm. so yeah yeah of course that that you can avoid always because mm. that time was was very bad uh, so much typhoon and now mm. has been so many flooding the water you can protect your plants or your farm fully for those mm. but that is more a kind of permaculture design mm. that you design your farm that it can handle better but mm. uh, to be frank there has been so so bad weather now and and mm. and typhoon and everything that mm. uh, even you do wa whatever mm. you you're gonna lost uh, but um, another hand if you, if you have your own seeds and others then starting again it's much easier mm. and if you have a typhoon mm. maybe maybe not take all your compost all your soil if you, if you have a mm. Well, we will see, but that kind of things, that kind of things we have planning. We will see what what we can do, mm. how how much we have power. <laughs> Everything start. We start again. Uh, we was first in Philippines, <laughs> then we coming here in cold climate, yes. and now we go back. Kind of round is <laughs> coming back, and uh, now we are much wiser. Kind of, we have more knowledge. <laughs> We have learned yeah. a lot of permaculture things and, and organic farming. We have practice in in quite high scale. We have mm. a, a not not hectare but quite much. We have five greenhouse four greenhouses and and uh, and a lot a lot we have practice and and uh, all that knowledge, all all the experiences what we have we gonna put in use. In, in Philippines, of course, different way, but uh, we will see what is coming, and we hope you subscribe and you follow mm -hmm. us and 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 put the thumb up and and <laughs> and comment yeah. comment what you think and and if you know someone uh, who is farming organic. Mm permaculture or something like that even not permaculture way but mm. organic yeah mm. and if you know someone who has a collection of all the philippine heirloom native seeds no, <laughs> please <okay>. comment <laughs> we are very interested we want yeah, to yeah. interview those people and and of course we want to keep we want mm. to keep the seeds i haven't seen uh, those uh, uh, organizations or or uh, volunteering uh, say, seed saving mm. system I haven't seen there any Philippines uh, the, nobody is doing doing that maybe someone do it we don't know but hopefully we find and we can we can do that and we will see you soon next video mm -mm. thank you bye bye, bye, -bye.